This video tutorial is brought to you by TipSquirrel.com. For all the best Photoshop and Lightroom tips, follow at TipSquirrel on Twitter or go to Facebook.com slash TipSquirrel. Hi everybody, Mike Hoffman here, and today we're going to look at part 5 of my ongoing series on using the pen tool in Photoshop. Today's topic is going to be drawing a cusp, and a cusp is a special kind of anchor point where we have two curves that come together in a corner but with curving segments leading out from that corner rather than straight segments. We've already seen how to draw smooth curves by clicking with the pen tool and then dragging out a control handle in the direction that we want the line segment to travel. I'll add another smooth curve point right here and drag it to make sure that we're following the contour of the heart. But now I want to place the next one right here at this cusp point where the curves come together. It's easy enough to do. We'll do it the same way and drag to make sure that we've got the curvature following the shape of the heart. But now we've got a problem on this end. Remember that this control point and its handle define the direction in which the next path segment is going to be traveling. And we certainly don't want it to continue on in a smooth direction through this point. We want it to form a corner and head off in this direction. And we can do that in Photoshop by switching to another tool called the Convert Point Tool. We'll cover that tool in more detail in the next video, but for now I'll demonstrate that while you have the Pen Tool active, in Windows you can hold down the Alt key and in Mac the Option key, and your cursor will change to that Convert Point Tool. Notice the shape of the cursor, sort of a V-shape arrow, and if we hover it over this control point, we can click and move the control point. And notice that this control point is moving independently of the other side. So we're no longer restricted to that seesaw motion that we saw in the previous video. I'm going to arrange this control handle so that it's pointing pretty much symmetrical to the other one. And then I'm going to place the next point right down here, again symmetrical. When I do, I can start dragging downward and sure enough, we've got our curve in the expected direction. We can come down here, and I'll place the last point right here. When I click here to close this path, notice that the segment doesn't join up. And again, we have the same problem here. I'm going to hold the Control key down and switch to the white arrow tool. And when I click it here, we can see that this point has the original control handle heading off in this direction, and it wants to be a smooth curve, and that's what we're getting. Once again, I can hold the Alt or Option key down and click on this control handle and drag it up, again symmetrical to this one. And now using a combination of the Control and the Alt or Option key, clicking on these points, I can readjust them and we can tweak this path into shape. And I think that's got it. I'll go ahead and switch to the black arrow tool and I'll drag the path off to the side here and you can see that we've created a very good heart-shaped path using this original shape as our guide. Once again, remember the principle. When you're drawing with the pen tool and you're creating curves, simply hold the Alt or Option key down, switch to this Convert tool, and then you can go about your business drawing paths that have cusp points. Give it a try and practice this one, and then you can add this to your toolbox for using the pen tool in Photoshop. Next week we're going to look a little more deeply at the Convert Anchor Point tool, and we'll learn how to change our anchor points. I hope you'll join me for that segment. My name is Mike Hoffman. My website is hoffmanartdesign.com. You'll find a variety of Photoshop, Lightroom, and photography tips, tricks, and information there. You can follow me on Twitter at mhoffman2001. And you can find me on Google Plus by simply going to gplusmikehoffman.com. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial.